By 1873, William McMath had moved on from Hewitt's solicitors in Castle Douglas to Edinburgh, where he was working as a lawyer's clerk at Dundas and Wilson in St Andrews Square. He would have been 29 when he spotted an article in the weekly periodical Notes and Queries, an appeal that would charge his life's work with purpose. Wanted old ballads, Professor Child's appeal. I am engaged in preparing for publication an edition of the English and Scottish ballads, which is intended to embrace all the truly popular ballads in our language in all their forms. Something must still be left in the memory of men or better of women who have been the chief preservers of ballad poetry. May I entreat the aid of gentlewomen in Scotland or elsewhere who remember ballads that they have heard repeated by their grandmothers or nurses. May I ask clergymen and schoolmasters living in sequestered places to exert themselves to collect what is left among the people. And if I should be so fortunate as to interest anybody in this search, may I beg that everything be set down exactly as repeated, and that the smallest fragment of a ballad be regarded as worth saving. The ballads will be published simultaneously in Great Britain and in America. I shall be glad to receive help or hint of any kind, and from any quarter. F.J. Child, Harvard College, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. I'll just a bit to count in there. I'll tell you a little bit about this next song. This is a song called uh, Lord Ronald. And um, it's a, a bit of a murder mystery. Some of you might be familiar with the ballad. It's sometimes called Lord Randall or Lord Donald. And the first time I ever sang this ballad was from a version I learned from Jimmy Robertson called Lord Donald. And I was very excited to find that there was a version in my home region. And uh, so we've arranged this to the tune that MacMath collected it with. And this is a bit of a, a whodunit. It's Lord Ronald.